What is up, all of you amazing Frost Fishing fans out there? This is Zelda Bomb Squad. As always, I am your host with the most, Frost. This is Frosty's Bar Tales. Now, we're going to do this one a little differently today. Yes, we are. Because Bobby Butters, you know, the guy, that, the popcorn fart story ruined my life. He was supposed to send me an email last week telling me a story about an Italian fight club that he witnessed, but he didn't do that. So I had to tell a different story. However, he got back to me this time. Now, I don't have it in an email form, uh, so I won't be reading it off because I've got nothing in front of me. But he did send it to me in a stupid tripod. He did send it to me um, in a text message. So I had to take the text message form and put it on a thumb drive, which I had to put in my PlayStation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the story. But I, you know, I would like to be focused on you guys. Or at least, you know, have something in front of me so I can at least do this. So given the fact that it's on my TV right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it, but I'm going to have my I'm going to have my phone facing the TV, so you guys can read along with me, because I don't want to have to be going like this. Okay, so there I was, and then go back to you. And that uh, 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 I don't know. So that's what we're going to do. So here's the Italian fight Fight Club story from Bobby Butters. Okay. So there I was, MA3 Bobby Butters, stationed in Italy in uniform, Woodland BDUs, up for those that don't know, it's right there, for visual aids, let's see, armed up and on post on an overnight shift, my relief was just swapped out with me, so now I'm on downtime. I go to the office to find that a few of us were going to cross the streets to the club where both military and Italians were to exchange cultures. Hmm. Nice pause. Having no jurisdiction off the compound, we locked up our sidearms and gun belts before heading over there for a pub walkthrough. Very smart, Bobby Butters. We rolled deep that night. Eight or nine deep. Not balls deep, but eight or nine deep. We headed over there. Walking through the club and circled around, everything checked out. Good start. On our way out, we heard someone yell, fight, all from the entrance, which is always a good thing to hear. Now we all dash to the doors with the grace of galloping gazelle. <laughs> oh, God, I'm actually imagining what he looks like galloping like a gazelle. It, it just... The mere thought of it, him galloping like that, just makes me laugh. Everybody, if you don't remember what Bobby Butters looks like, go back uh, to the Fall of Frosty. I, I believe that's the name of it. And, uh, yeah, that big guy. Yeah, the big guy galloping like a gazelle. Just, just picture that. It's funny as shit. So, anyway, and the courage of an eagle, all eight or nine of us are trying to squeeze out of the two doors at the same time. And believe me, I know how much of a pain in the ass that can be, because it happens at work all the time. Imagine, if you will, an over... Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, an overly obese woman that tries to squeeze into skin-tight yoga pants and walk around Walmart. <laughs> You're fucking awful. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Make, making it outside, we established a perimeter around this fight watching for our own that may be involved. Turns out they were all Italian, so we sat back, watched, and enjoyed the circus show. Oh, that's that's always a plus. Always is. I hate my tripod. I'm getting a new one shortly. In the land of Italia, it is considered a felony to hit someone with a closed fist. I did not know that. I learned something new every day. That being said... Men, women, young and old, had an all-out slap fest, open-handedly slapping each other across the face. Insert classic Batman TV here with William Shatner, Boom, Pauker, Crack, Bam, and Holy Jeepers, Batman. <laughs> uh, 
Empty water bottles were used to club others over the head as well as sandals. All I could think while I'm laughing at open amusement is, is this really happening right now? Italian bouncers come out and finally break it up. They talk things through and given their laid back culture and demeanor, everything is Bob Benny or okay good. Hey, we all know how to say it and we all know how to speak Italian now. All involved are released and welcomed back into the club rather than getting kicked out. Wow. God bless them, because, you know, if that would have happened in our place, not not a single one of them would have been allowed back. Nope. Uh-uh. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, but he would go on to say uh, in the separate text message, because he forgot to mention how many people were involved. So, there were one, two, four, five people involved in this. No, he said there were allegedly 15 to 20 people involved in this all-out slap fest. So, oh, okay. So, dot, dot, dot. What happens? Yep, you guessed it. It all started back up again. Only now, a few Italians had had enough. A few decided that they were going on bases if it were a sanctuary. I can already tell you right now, that shit won't fly. You didn't say that, but I said it. I ran over to the gate and informed them that they are not to go on base and that they'll have to, quote, take it like a man, end quote, as the open-handed slap fest continued in the background. Something I'll never forget and will always remain in the back of my head. Sometimes offering itself up at random opportunities, providing endless source of amusement for me. Wow. That was interesting. I would have I would have absolutely have loved to see because you you, you how oh, do I want to say this? You do. Italians are classified as badass people you don't mess with. And just... Having to picture what is classified as badassery just being, like, lowered down to mere... Oh, God, that's, it seems like one of those things that would be probably funny as shit if you were able to see it, much, well, much like all the stories are, but that was pretty good, Bobby Butters, thank you for actually doing it this time. So, everybody, that's going to be that. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, don't forget to join the Bob Squad, like, share, and subscribe, don't forget to leave me a comment below, let me know how I did. Most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment below. Let Bobby Butters know what you thought of his story. Because he put some time and effort into this, and it was a long one, as you all saw. So, that is that. So, everybody, thank you. Until next time, this is your man, Frosty, saying, Stay safe. Be careful. Drink responsibly. Have fun. But most importantly... Take care now. Bye-bye then.